Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to this session of our Younger Youth Group uh, uh, webinar, live webinar. Uh, our youth, as usual, always very excited for this uh, live webinar and the topic today is summer activities. They have come up with some unique activities, some uh, very known activities, but they are special for them. So anyone who have joined in on YouTube, Facebook or link, uh, LinkedIn, please do uh, give your comments, feedback. We will love to hear from you. Or if you want to interact with the panelists, you can join the Zoom link. And um, that's about uh, it. We have uh, one whole uh, group of very excited panelists. And for today, we have two moderators, Asmita and Ananya. And uh, all the best to both of you and all the others who so excitedly have joined to share their experiences. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. To my name is Aspita. Today, we'll be talking to you about our favorite summer activities. The reason why we chose our favorite summer activities is because summer is coming up and everyone wants to cool down and get fit mentally and physically. On to you, Ananya. So here we have the table of contents. First, we'll meet our panelists, and here you'll get to know the people who will be presenting today. Next, we'll, get, um, we'll be sharing our favorite summer activities. Now you'll find out what our favorite summer activities are. Um, we'll have our conclusion, and we'll be concluding our presentation, but don't leave yet because we have an interactions and Q&A session. And lastly, the Q&A um, Q session, the interactions and Q&A, where you can ask our panelists all your questions. Let's meet our four panelists. Hi, everyone. My name is Anna. I'm going to be one of the co-moderators for today's webinar. Some of my hobbies are arts and crafts, singing, and playing with my little sister. Hi, everyone. I'll also be one of the co-moderators. I'm in fourth. I'm in. I'm going to fifth grade, and I'm in River Hills Elementary. Some of my hobbies are dancing and going to the beach. I'll be talking about going to the beach and going to the park. Next, we have Sean. Sean, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. My name is Sean, and I'm a fourth grader at Fry Elementary, and I'll be talking about my trip to Maryland and playing football. Hi everyone, my name is Adzik Madhukar. I live in Troy, Michigan, and I'm in fifth grade. My hobbies are dancing, singing, and playing the keyboard. In today's webinar, I will be talking about my amazing travel to Mexico. Next, we have Kaushika. Kaushika, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Kaushika, and I'm in fifth grade. Uh, Hi, my name is Kaushika and I'm in fifth grade and I, I'm in Grand River Academy. And in this week's webinar, I'm going to be talking about my connection with biking. Hi, my name is Lana Sweeney. I go to Troy Union Elementary School. I'm, in na I'm nine years old and I'm in fourth grade and I love to do arts and crafts. Next, we have Rue. Rue, can you please um, tell us a bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Rue. I go to Fry Elementary School. I'm in first grade. Some of my hobbies are playing with my brother, playing Minecraft. I'm seven years old, and in this week's webinar, I'll be talking about riding a bike. Hi, everyone. My name is Ruan Kari, and I'm a third grader in Morse Elementary. And some of my hobbies are playing cricket and going and and crocheting and I'll be talking about camping. Lastly we have Kriti. Um can you please tell us a bit about yourself, Kriti? Hi, my name is Kriti and um some things I like to do are talk to my friends and uh make arts and crafts. Um today I'm going to be talking about 
uh, some vacations that um, I'm going to be going to this summer and um, what I'm going to be doing. Now it's time for our favorite summer activities. The first question about going to the beach is why? Going to the beach is a fun and breathtaking way of spending your time. The next question is, how is going to the beach fun? Going to the beach is fun by having picnics, playing frisbee, uh, going into the, taking a dip in the water, or eating delicious snacks, or a lot more other fun activities you can do. The last question is, what are the beaches here in Florida? Top two beaches that I went to is the Siesta Beach in Siesta Key, Clearwater. The Clearwater Beach is located in Clearwater, and there are a lot more beaches in Florida. Next, I'll be talking about going to parks. Why? Going to parks is a fun and a way to get fit. Going to the parks, a, a, a way to get fit. How is the playground fun? You can play telephone, Marco Polo, green light, red light, and a lot more fun other fun games other than just going on swings and slides, which are kind of boring. Thanks. That was amazing. Next we have Advik. Hi, Advik here again. My dad planned a surprise trip to Cancun for my family. It was so exciting to go out after one and a half years of stay-at-home order. We feared of the plan of flying, but took all precautions and ventured out. I was so thrilled to pack my belongings and was ready to go. We stayed in a resort with a beautiful swimming pool and a private beach. What more can I ask for? On the second day of the trip, we went to Chichen Itza. I was waiting to go to this place since second grade. Chichen Itza is a huge monument built by the Mayans. They built it to praise their gods, especially the serpent. It was one of the wonders of the world. It was so fun to learn facts about Chichen Itza and see the real thing. Next. From the heat of Chichen Itza, we went to the cool, relaxing water of Cenote. Cenote is a huge sinkhole filled with water raising up to 142 feet, so we had to wear a life jacket. It was amazing to swim there. It was, it was one of my best life experiences. If you go to Mexico, don't miss this. Next. On the third of the five days we were there, we went parasailing. Parasailing is an activity many people like to do. The workers attach a parachute to you and to your back and go really fast in a speedboat. The parachute flies up, taking you with it. I was really scared to go at first, but I went anyway, knowing it, it was gonna knowing it was gonna be an awesome experience. The boat driver started going really fast, and me and my brother flew into the air. I think I could see almost every resort in Cancun. Next. On the second to last day, we went snorkeling. The one with the orange shirt is me, and the blue shirt is my brother. Snorkeling is an activity where you put a mask and a pipe to your face. You can see all the coral in the water while breathing underwater. You can submerge your head in the water, but still breathe through the pipe that is sticking out. It was so wonderful to see the coral and fish in the water without having to come back up for air. I suggest if you go to Mexico, for you to go there too. Overall, the only sad part about the trip was coming back. It was an amazing trip. Thank you for listening. Wow, that was wonderful. I've not tried snorkeling yet. Maybe next time.
next we'll have Ananya are talking about her trip to Newport Aquarium. So there are many things that I like to do in the summer. They're all on the next slide. But one of the most recent and memorable times was when I went to the Newport Aquarium with my family and family friends. So first we have, where is it? Well, it is in Newport, Kentucky, and it is pretty much on the border of Ohio and Kentucky, and I have a map picture. Next, um, what did I see there? Well, I saw a huge collection of fish, sharks, alligators, um, frogs, seahorses, um, like shark rays, stingrays, penguins, crabs, octopus, uh, lobsters, and anemone. Many people say that it has um, sea life displays from jellyfish to rays. Next, why was it fun for me? Well, not only did we get to see the creatures, but we got, also got to touch them. That's right. There were even touch stations there where you get to touch them from the tank. Um, when I when I got to touch a sea anemone, it almost held on to my hands. Next, when I went to the um, stingray tank, then there they were just floating on the water. It was really cool to see them swim like that. Next. First, we see the travel pointing to Niagara Falls. Well, that is because I'm going to be going and traveling to Niagara Falls this summer. And I'm really excited because I heard that it is one of the oldest state parks. And also, um, there, um, there's like an American side and a Canadian side. And many people say that the Canadian side is better that um, it looks more beautiful from the, that side. So I hope someday I can look at Niagara Falls from the Canadian side. Next, there we have this DIY. Well, I'm gonna be doing a lot of crafts this summer and decorating my room with them. Also, we have uh, this picnic picture. That's because I'm gonna be going to picnics with my friends and family. Also, we have a swimming pool. That's because our community swimming pool opened and I will get to go swimming there. After a long time of being at home, I finally get to go swimming. Next, there's um, I, um, a picture of I-9 sports pointing to a soccer ball. That's because I'm gonna be starting new soccer lessons, a six week soccer course with I-9 sports um, in the summer. And I really like soccer. I loved it um, from a long time, so I really, I'm really excited because I get to go in a real soccer field and actually play there. And I've never been on a real soccer field. Next. And here are some DIYs and drawings and sketches that I did. So first we have a lady with a hat and that's a sketch. Then we have a peacock that's like an oil pastel drawing. And lastly, we have this decoration that I did to my room already. And that's one of the crafts that I did. So overall, I'm gonna have a great summer and also my Newport Aquarium experience was amazing. Thank you. Wow, Ananya, I really loved all of your sketches and one day I hope to visit Newport Aquarium too. Next we have Ro. Ro talking about riding a bike. History of a bike. History of a bike. Long ago, there were bikes, but they were not helmets. Soon they made, they made helmets. I think they got inspired by nature. I think they got inspired by turtles with their hard shells. Now we have so many types of helmets, like un spike, unicorn, striped, and dots. We also have colorfuls, but if I didn't say yours, that's fine. There are so many types of helmets, like the one that is black, and this one that's pink, and finally this one that's like gray and green. My connection. Usually, I go from 95th Street to 103 Street with my friends. One day, I went past 103 Street. I was so happy. And my friends go on the trail path. We also have a picnic spot. So we usually get snacks and water. I love biking.
Once I learned it, but it's been one month and I forgot. So I learned biking again. Now we can do so many tricks. Next. But not like this guy. Next. Next. Not like this guy in the ear. Not like this girl. And not like this guy either. That's all. Thank you. Wow, that was amazing, Gru. Next, we have Sean talking about um, his trip to Maryland and football. Football, football, football. It's one of those many sports that we all love and know. Some, some, since summer's around the corner and we are all going to be doing many things, one thing I will be doing is football. This year, I want to start flag football with the hopes of COVID being settling down because everyone's staying at home and attending school, not moving out of their chairs. So football is a great way to exercise and a great way to get moving. I suggest you play football as well. Um, I once used to not like football, but now I love it. If I can't start flag football, then I hope to watch a lot. My favorite team is the Kansas City Chiefs, which most of the players are lined up on the left. My favorite player is Patrick Mahomes because he can run, throw, make last minute decisions and keeps calm through the whole game. The Kansas City Chiefs have won one Super Bowl and have attempted to make one against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That was last season. I'm not sure if you guys watched it, but it was epic. Patrick Mahomes made a bunch of last minute throws and it was so cool. Next, I will be talking about my wonderful trip to Maryland. The thing is, I, will, I actually did not visit Maryland. This is my first time going and I'm so excited. We are going to Maryland because of my uncle's puja party. So they're um, getting a new house and in our religion, we do a party uh, to, to open up the house and celebrate the new house. So um, I hope to see the beaches, rivers, and lakes. If you didn't know, Maryland is home to Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay, which is a um, harbor that was used and around the 19th, uh, 19th, century, 19th century. I hope to go on a speedboat and we are planning on going again this year. So my first trip, we aren't planning on doing much, just visiting my uncle and we'll be staying at our cousin's house. But um, our next trip, it's gonna be so cool. Um, we hope to go on a bunch of buildings and um, maybe even see the White House. I suggest you check out these um, fun summer activities and I hope you go to Maryland as well. If you already did, I hope to see your, um, your responses in the Q&A section. Thank you for letting me speak. Wow, that was wonderful, Sean. I, yeah, I've also visited Maryland and yeah. White House. Mar Maryland sounds amazing. Yeah. Next, we have Mana Sweeney. Mana Sweeney talking about her trip to Florida. Why do I want to go there? Well, I want to go there because I like the weather in Florida and the beach is so much. And there's so much to see. So also, I'm curious to go to the places I didn't go last time when I went. I only went to some places, not a lot. I only went to Orlando and Miami. So this time I want to like visit more, most of the places in Florida. I'm curious to go there. That's why I want to go there. What fun things will I do? Well, last time when I went to Florida, we went to Disney, but we didn't get to go on the rides. So what I really wanted to do is go on the Disneyland rides because I feel like it's going to be so much fun there and also go to different beaches I've never been to and I really want to go to the Daytona Beach and Cape Coral. Cities and places I'll visit. Well I want to visit Disney World again in Orlando and I want to go to the Kennedy Space Center. Last time I went was really fun because we got to see a lot of space. 
space things and all those other shuttles and all those things. And not just that, I want to visit most of the places in Florida, like um, the Baytona Beach and um, Deltona. And I really want to visit Miami because Miami, I really like it there. I also want to visit Hollywood because I never saw those places and I really want to go, go to see those places again. And most of all, I really want to see the whole place and the whole cities and places which I never saw in Florida. Bye. And hope to see you visit Florida. Oh, wow. That was wonderful, Manasvini. Um, yeah, I hope you like the rides on, on, in Orlando. And next we have, um, uh, we're talking about bike riding. Hi, my name is Kaushika, and I'm going to be talking about bike riding. My, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is my connection or why I like bike riding. I guess my connection to bike riding is that in the summer, almost every day, my parents, sister, and I would go on bike rides around our neighborhood and go to our subdivisions park. And sometimes we would race each other. When I ride my bike really fast, even though it's really hot in the summer, I'm still fresh and I still get fresh and cool air on my face. And another reason I like bicycles is because they're really easy to maintain. All you have to do is pump up the tires when they lose air. So people, when their tires are flat, all they have to do is pump the tires up and then they're ready to start riding their bike. The second thing I'm gonna be talking about is a few facts about bike riding. A few facts I learned about bike riding are is that the longest tandem bicycle seated 35 people and was more than 20 meters long. And this fact may be very obvious, but it is 20 times cheaper to maintain a bicycle than a car. Hope you like bike riding too. Wow, that was really nice, Kashika. Next we have Kriti. Um, you have to click. Um, okay, so uh, I'm uh, very excited for my trip to California and I really miss my cousins. And uh, these are some of the vacations I'm going to go to through the summer. And I'm really excited to go to California and to go on walks with my parents and my family. And um, I'm excited to go camping and to Traverse City. And um, I really want to go to California because it's been so long since I've seen one of my cousins that live there. And I really hope to see them and I miss them a lot. So I'm really excited to go there. And it's going to be very exciting and uh, I've never been to California before. I, I, at least if I have, it's been like a long time. So I'm very excited to go there and I'm going to go on walks with my parents. And that's also very exciting, especially because, um, we like to go on walks together and that's kind of when we like joke about things and laugh around. So we like walks and, um, our dog likes walks too, so we're going to have a lot of fun walking through our street, and that'll be fun. And then we'll have camping. So then uh, in camping, we normally kind of call our friends. We may go by ourselves, but camping is really fun, and I like the outdoors and sleeping there, and um, it's kind of fun, and I like to stay outside, and even though... I hate the mosquitoes and the flies. The nature is beautiful. So I like camping. And then Traverse City is extremely exciting for me because um, that's going to be like the first time I was ever in a beach. So um, that will be very exciting. And um, 
I have never seen a beach so close up and Traverse City will be really exciting for me because I've never been to a beach and that's like some part of Michigan that I've never been in before. So that's um, very exciting. So overall, my summer is going to be very exciting. The sad part of my summer is just going to be it ending. Um, and yeah, that's going to be about my summer. Wow, um, I bet you're gonna have a lot of fun in California. And we hope you visit the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, that's our plan. Um, and next we have Ruhan talking about camping. Hi again, my name is Ruhan and I'll be talking about camping. My question is, my questions are, my first question is why I like it. I like camping because you can spend time outside in nature and also you can spend time with your family. And my second question is, what can we do there? We can do a lot of things if we have the stuff to do. So we can do, we can go fishing, we can go, we can roast our marshmallows and we can play sports. And my other question is, where does camping mostly happen? Camping mostly happens in woods, forest, or even nearby your house, like nearby forests. Thank you. Bye. Wow, Ruhan, that was a wonderful explanation about camp. What is camping? And I hope to visit. I hope to do camping one day too. Okay. Now. Lastly, we have the conclusion. So all our panelists thought of many innovative and great activities for summer. So I like how everyone told their thoughts of their activity and they told why they like it or their connection to it. I also saw that many people were traveling this year. Well, summertime is the time to travel because of um, COVID reasons. Um, we were not able to travel for that like past year. And now that COVID is like slowly settling down, we can um, travel now. And let's go to the Q&A session so you can ask your questions. Now it's time to interact. Ask, all, ask our panelists all your questions. Um, okay, I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I know all of you guys are like traveling a lot this year. Like, um, were you like planning to do um, like visit an exact place there? I know some people said like some beaches and stuff like that. No. But some people were like um, this place, or like also some people said like just going to parks or going to beaches, like, is there any place exactly that you're going? Um, I would like to visit the Clearwater Beach because that's the one I mostly like. Or like anyone, if they said like some people are going to Maryland, um, also like Florida and stuff, like any exact place that they were like exactly planning to visit? Yeah, I would like to visit Tampa. Ooh. Well, um, in California, I, I I don't really know where my cousins live. Yes, that's me. But um, um, my I don't know like exactly where they live. Like I don't maybe they live L A. But uh, wherever they live, that's where I'm going to go. Definitely in California and camping, we just camp wherever we can find. Yeah, um, um. Also, um, Kriti, um. Uh, are you only going there to your cousin's house or are you also going like somewhere else? Other than we're home? going to, actually we have like two cousins who live there. So we're going to go to both of their houses, but we're going to obviously like uh, explore California a little bit because we, we've we not really gotten, got, uh, have in the time, have had the time to like do this. Um, so like we have, we've been locked down and like for one year and I hated it so much. So it's time to like get free and we have to like tour because if you don't tour, then what's the point? What's the point of being so scared in COVID flying to California and then just staying in someone's house? Like you have to do some touring. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, think we, I think we can all agree on one thing. COVID is the worst. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Made me cry on yes. my ninth birthday. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, my family, they're planning um, to go to uh, like in in Ohio. There's this beach uh, called like the Sandusky Beach. Um, so we might go there this summer, and I'm really excited. Um, we went to another different beach. Um, like probably. Yeah, I think last week, and it was really fun. Um, so maybe like this summer we might go to a San Francisco. So I'm really excited for that. Um, we're planning to go to Travel City. Oh, so am I. Meet you there. While we're on the topic of um, beaches, me and my sister actually went to a beach in um, uh, Indiana. It's called Indiana Dunes. So it's like a, a beach that it's connected to, I think, Lake. Yeah. So it's connected to Lake Michigan. So um, that's the beach part. And then there's a separate part that has um, a bunch of sand dunes. Uh, we didn't go to the sand dunes, but we did, in fact, go to the beach. So that was really amazing. And fun fact, I've probably been on, like, almost every side of the of Lake Michigan. I've been on the Indiana part. I've been in the uh, Illinois part. Um, I was born in Michigan, so I was bound to visit Lake Michigan on the Michigan start. side. So I just have a few more states and then I, um, uh, I am around Lake Michigan, which is really awesome. Um, I have a question for all the people that made uh, slides for bike riding. So do any of you just like know how, how many minutes you're out biking, like an hour, 20 minutes? Uh, yeah, so me and my sister, we usually, so like last summer we biked a ton. So we bike for around two hours and in all in all we've covered at least 300 miles of biking nice and kaushika i know you were writing about um biking so do you know how long you're out or how many miles you did like in the um, last two days or something ruhan is actually in my class um, I guess sometimes it depends on um, how much time I have. I usually am preoccupied with other classes, so I guess it depends on how many classes I have that day or how much time I can spend outside. Okay. Um, even though I didn't really write about um, bike riding, um, I still do it, and I would say uh, we barely go like family bike riding because my mom and my dad and I don't have work and all that. But usually me and my sister go out by ourselves. I usually, and um, at least we go for maybe half an hour or a bit more than that, maybe like 45 minutes or so. And also I have a, um, I have a question for Kriti. Um, so like you said, one second, um, okay, so, like, um, I have a question for Kriti. Um, can she, why did she choose like going on walks as one of her exciting activities? Like, well, like well, walks might not sound exciting, but like one thing is that even though I'm not actually going to school, I like to like record. I wish I could, even though I don't really do that a lot. Like, I I like to record how much I walk, and um. My mom and I, we actually walk a lot in the summer, and once we walked to my friend's house, and we thought it would be close, and I was getting blisters. My dad was on a run to who knows where, and, like, uh, we were, like, in pain, but it was kind of funny because I was getting blisters, and we walked, like, five miles, and um, that was kind of funny, and it was painful. But, like, um, in school, what we kind of do is... Um, we walk and we kind of like record this and then we get like fun tokens and things like that. It's not like a fun run. It's like, I don't, I don't know what it's called. I'm, I'm not sure if it has a name or not either, but like, it's, it's a fun thing that they, that we kind of do. And, um, 
that it's kind of uh cool and i i like walks as like i think walks are exciting and relaxing and that yeah and they're like relaxing and stuff but the other thing is that you get like some family time you get some school time that's like fun you're unmuted yeah i don't hear you anymore. oh okay so um yeah, I just thought that uh, walking is fun. I think walking is exciting because, like, school, you can, like, record that in school. And it's a great family time, even though we're, like, walking and it might be a little tiring. It, we, we normally only walk, like, two or three miles, so it's not even that tiring. And it's also fun to be with your family. And, yeah, yeah that's, um, that's a family time. And I kind of look forward to walks and every time anybody's like, let's go on a walk on like, and that's like, I, why I kind of look forward to like Friday evenings and stuff because they're like, everybody's kind of free. And then they're like, let's go on a walk, especially when it's summer. And they're like, let's go. And then I'm like, so excited. Like, yay, the dog's coming. My mom's coming. My dad's coming. We can talk and laugh and have fun. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I have two questions. Um, so first, did anyone go to Niagara Falls before? Um, yeah, I did. I did. I, we're planning on going there. Yeah. It was the greatest thing in the world. It was gorgeous. I have a question. Yeah, it was really cool. Does it, Me too. I have a question. Does it count when I was in my mom's tummy? Does it count um, when I go to Niagara Falls? Does it still count? I mean, like, do you sure. know that you're going there in your mom's stomach? So I would say that. Sure. Why not? Um, I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, I've actually been there um, a couple times. For Ruhan, what is your favorite sport, sport Ruhan? Oh, it was called cricket. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I have another question. Um, to yeah. all the people who went to Niagara Falls, um, you know the maybe the mist, like that boat ride. Um, um, like what is do you um? Yeah, yeah. I went on the boat. Ride. I know exactly what you're telling you. Does anyone have the maid of the mist um experience? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. I love it. Really, it's really fun. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really. Fun. Fun. There's, There's like a gift shop. shop. They have like this water with gift splashes, shop. splashes on it. It's, it's fun. Yeah. yeah, it's really fun. But uh, there's like this gift shop. I I like I love the gift shop. <laughs> but like the made of the mist, they give you like these funny pawn shows. Mine was like way too big for me because I was like like six and I was in like first grade. But um, um, uh, they give us they give you like pawn shows, and then in the gift shop they'll write made of the mist on literally everything and i picked like this cute magnetic monkey that said made of the mist and for some reason i named it misty and i don't know why i did that <laughs> i was in first grade and and i was crazy so yeah um yeah i'm gonna be going so with other other family friends so yeah we're planning to Uh, it's hard to hear you. Um, her question, her, yeah, her question is, um, did you, so you went to the, um, Newport Aquarium, did yeah. you pet the sharks and the jellyfish? Um, no, the jellyfish were in a tank, they didn't, uh, they didn't, um, uh, like, want to just touch it, and the sharks, well, there was a um thing where we could touch the shark to the touch station, but um they would always be like um away from us and they would be really deep in the water, so it was hard to go in. Yeah, like pull up our sleeves all the way and then like dip our hand into the water. I was able to like get a small touch of one, I remember. But um the, um I did but I remember I think I was able to get a small touch of a um stingray. But they don't sting though, um, and yeah, and they would like always go on the water like this, and they, they would go like this, almost like they're flying, and yeah. And also, I got to in the beginning there, um, there was like um a touch tank with um sea stars and anemone, and I got there was like this big one in the middle, 
a sea anemone. So I got to touch that and it was like holding on to me when I put my hands on it. That's funny. Yeah, and I also a question. Yeah. Is anybody going to the zoo? No. I'm not. No. I might. No. I might. Like, I wish I would. For me, like I really like zoos and I wish I went there, but um not we're not planning this year. So yeah, it's not really that safe. Well, if you're not going to the zoo, come to mine. Just kidding. Um, well, I got a lot into clay art, and I'm making a miniature zoo. Oh, okay. yeah. I know that. I know project. that. Um, I know that um, because I always see the clay at your house when they come there. Yeah, yeah I always see you, you make a lot of um, And you like miniatures, too. I have, like, this shelf of clay things. And like, um, I I started making a zoo. That's like my summer project this year. And I made like pandas and a human that's finally realistic looking, even though my other humans were just like scary. <laughs> and um, I have pandas and penguins and nothing else, but I will make that happen. Yeah. yeah. So um, I have a question for everyone. So this summer, what are you guys doing? Which for other for other families it might seem like oh what type of summer like vacation is that but for your family it's it's just really closely connected and you guys like doing it every year as i said walks yeah we have a, we have like bike rides those are nice we also sometimes like um at like night um like after our, our webinars and stuff like that um um, when it's like kind of dark, we have like these lights in front of our house and we have like this porch swing and stuff. It's really relaxing to just sit out there and we just talk and laugh and my sister plays and stuff like that. So it's nice outside, um, bike rides, stuff like that. Uh, we do movie nights sometimes. Oh yeah, me and my sister are going to have a movie night today since we're celebrating the end of school. Um, so <laughs> Happy end of school to you. My school ends in like 12 days. My school, my school ends, ends, mine ends on eight days. In eight days. My school ends on fr next Friday. Same um, with mine. Same we with have an end of the school year party next Friday, but then that's not the last day of school. Like, I don't know. I didn't understand the last <laughs> but like, that's, that's what's happening for us. Um, so, summer is coming up and um do any of you play like uh video games because i i play video games i admit i do um i play some video games like roblox i play yeah I, me too i only play roblox I play minecraft I, I play roblox sometimes for like i don't play video games um, Same. I, play, I play minecraft I play um I play Roblox for um only some time. I play usually with my friends. I have like these chats and stuff like that with my friends. So I usually call them and play, or I play by myself. And um um yeah, I, I only play like the games that are like free and stuff like that. But um I want to be able to play a bit Roblox a bit more. I barely play Roblox these days and stuff like that. I barely play it. So I want to get to like play and like know more people and yeah, try new games. I'm not um, much of a Roblox fan, but I definitely a Minecraft fan. You can ask my sister about that. Yeah. I can barely walk in Minecraft. I hate Minecraft. I don't like what? Minecraft. Much you wait, are you playing on a com if you play on a computer, you click weed and walk. If you're playing on a iPad, it's pretty easy. There's it's guns. exaggeration. I can walk in Minecraft. I just don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> I don't you have know? Minecraft no um because it like costs money in mine thing. Um that's why I only have, like free games and stuff the like that. The reason yeah, I don't like Minecraft is that I find it very gold miner E and like it's like so many diamond I build a, I build buildings with diamonds. That's very realistic, you know. Like like I find it like that, like how? Why? When? Where? Are why? Are there any more questions? No, I don't I do. Yeah, Wait, never mind, I forgot. <laughs>
I think we so. Have- um, I guess school is almost done for everybody. So, what are three years you would use? I mean, I don't know, not three years. Three words you would use to describe this year. Um, I would say like, um, fun, exhausting, fun, hard, fun. Uh, what if, <laughs> what if uh, we already finished school? Um, then I, from, from the school, hard, level, can you describe it from? And, I would um, say hard, hard, fun, and fun, fast. Yeah, fun, hard, fast. Mine is um, hard, I would say my three, no. here are my three words that describe, um, that describe the school year. Mm-hmm. You're on mute. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. Um, for my three words, I would say, um, new, exciting, challenging. I would say I, like, boring, fast, and then fun. That's what yeah. I, I I have I have three words that will make you think that the online syllabus is the worst thing in the world. <clears throat> boring, boring, boring. Evil, COVID, boring, sad, challenging. That's four. That's four. That's that's, That's five. five. That's the it's best way I can I can I can only express my bad feelings about the bad school year. That was badly uninteractive. Like unlike this interactions and QA because it's interactive. But anyways, it's uninteractive and it's evil and I hate COVID. And yay for hating COVID. <laughs> I'm happy that at least like we can communicate with Zoom and online um tools and stuff because if we didn't have these stuff I wouldn't say we would literally have school or like anything I guess but um with the help of like electronics and home devices it just helps us like we like the let us talk at webinar without like the le- without like all this like Zoom and stuff I don't think we would be able to do like the like yeah and also yeah. Like, i said like exciting because like we got to do a new thing not just like um we got to actually see our teachers on the computer try new like things out um in the computer like try new tools stuff like that and that's why it's new too we like till now we were not like in we were there for a whole year um on like the laptop and working there um instead of actual school and it was challenging because, like, we had technical problems, stuff like that, and everyone breaking up in meetings and stuff like that, technical problems. So you all agree that Let Us Talk It platform came at a time when you wanted this engagement, right? You wanted to make online friends. You got to make, uh, I mean, you had so many friends already, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah, uh, yeah. something... Uh, yeah, we are so glad that uh, we were able to provide for you. Um, and uh, yes, this is what we want as an interaction uh, platform, as a platform where you are uh, welcome to talk, express your feelings, your ideas. So yeah, well done, everyone. But um, my one question to all of you, so uh, do you have a plan? Did you think that what are you going to do um, after this, after, you know, you have so many plans. So wouldn't it be better to like plan it out a little bit more? Have, uh, did somebody uh, have already started doing it or you plan just like think everything. that it will come and you will just enjoy it? Uh, Honestly, well, after after such a tiring year, I think I'm just gonna go to summer and just chillax. No plans, nothing. Just chill, cause school has been a very tough challenge with all the online and stuff. So I'm just gonna relax and go to summer without. I agree with Sean. I mean, I mean, I kind of have a plan. I so I have a YouTube channel and I kind of want to start uploading more, but. Other than that, I, I don't really have much of a plan. I, I, I have plans. I, I don't like to chill. Excuse me. Like, I don't like to chillax all the time, but, like, I mean, you need some time to, like, 
relax in your life. You can't just be like, oh my god, vacation, go to Traverse City, play in the beach, swim, swim, come back, go on a trampoline, be crazy, and then sleep in school when school starts. Like, no. Summer is meant for relaxing, not for doing this stuff and then sleeping in school and then a test comes and you're like, we have a test today? What's happening? Am I am I alive? Pinch me. That's not That's even that. crazy. That's more than crazy. Exactly. Okay, Um, I think Progne has a question. Uh, How do you enroll for the, the PowerPoint you guys did? Oh, um, so like every single, um, but there are a lot of stuff at webinar. Yeah. Um, we have prep sessions Tuesday and Thursdays at eight thirty p.m. So then, um, yes, eight thirty p.m. Yes, yeah. On this, I'm um, pretty sure um, that we have the link in the YouTube thing. I think I'm not sure. Um, yeah. I um, would say I have plans. Well, um, I do have a lot. I still have a lot of classes even now during the summer. Um, like not much of them changed. To tell actually none of them changed. They're all <laughs> still there. Yeah. I have some classes that changed, but like, yeah, I still have. I, have all, I still have all my classes. So today was like my most hectic day. I have like around four to five classes today, but um. Yeah, and well, um, I would say we just have plans. They're already planning, like, booking a car for, like, Niagara Falls and stuff like that. And um, I would be, I'm still, I have to, um, like, focus more on dance and singing. Um, because now I'm getting, like, to the harder and bigger levels. Like, in dance, we're going to be doing our final thing in, like, 2023. Exactly same thing for me, like exactly what she said. And I have like, um, there's like 10 dances to learn and then like that's what we do in the final performance. So we, like we have to work hard we're on like the fourth dance right now. So, and also in singing, I'm getting higher, so. Exactly same, again, what she said. I have to download an app called Slides for this PowerPoint. Um, I, I know you and uh, Kriti, I know you and Ananya are cousins. So are you guys in the same like dance school thing? Oh, not at all. We don't even do the same type of dance. Like, no, she not at all. Coach, she does Kuchipodi, I do Patanatyam. Yeah, like we don't even do the same dance. But the singing is same, Sangeeta. Yeah, the singing is obviously same, but like we don't even go to same yeah. class. Like. We're in like we're like three hours away from each other, so I'm like no. Yeah, she's in Michigan, I'm in Ohio, so. Yeah, that's like we're not we can't be in the same classes. Like no, that's impossible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so do I you think... hope on visiting each other? Cause I have a few cousins all around the U.S. and I'm hoping to visit them. So. Um... I have a lot of cousins, um, mostly in India. And my Same. grandparents live in India and stuff like that. Um, I have some cousins here still. So I'm in Texas and Houston and stuff like that. Yeah, so like, like California cousins. And stuff like that. But, yeah. I have a lot of cousins here. For example, you, my California cousins. And then things like that. Um, I went to Ohio and I'm now... Now, right now, I'm in Michigan. Cool. You've been to both of our places. I'm in Ohio right now. You are? Yeah. Go meet her. Go meet Ananya. <laughs> I don't know where it is. It's in Columbus. I forgot the address. No, no, no. It's in Lewis Center. It's, I think, a bit down. Okay. Right, yeah, that that's enough details. <laughs> a bit down. Um, so so you go to Lewis Center and then you get a big um, a uh, big drill and then you drill in the ground because you said down, right? So you drill in the ground. Yeah, a bit down. We we go a little bit down. We step our feet probably into our knees. That should be enough. Okay, and, yeah. and then you go that's, through the core and then you end up in um. 
Yeah, Ananya, that's a pretty cool Ananya, that's a pretty cool place where your house is. Yes, awesome. We're just teasing you. You would end up for all like China or Japan. I I don't know. California, you'll get to Argentina. So we're not talking about California. Hold up. I don't know what you're talking about. Why? Why would okay, you? Uh, okay. One interruption that we have to think that uh, we have to remember that we are in the live session. So um, yeah. Uh, does anybody who has joined new have any questions or any feedback? <sighs> if not, uh, anyone has any other uh, uh, things to add? Thoughts? I don't have anything. Yeah, um, Tommy, do you have any questions about the webinar or anything? So if not, then we know that uh, we are all ready to um, enjoy the summer. And we hope that uh, anyone who has gone through tough times will find some um, energy back and we'll enjoy the summer we have our vacation but we'll have our webinars going so if you want to have uh, uh, you know friends virtual friends who have uh, become good friends uh, that the kids can say they have uh, please you can join us uh, by going to the website let us talk it.com slash youth and please register your uh, name there or you can ask your parents to get you registered and then we have our prep sessions every tuesday and thursday from 8 30 p.m est uh, so you can join that and then you can be part of the live webinar hope you enjoyed and you took something away from uh, today's webinar and we hope to see you again in the next uh, uh, not next week but the week after that uh, uh, week friday so have a wonderful weekend. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.